Hey folks, so I just wanted to give everyone an update on my next project. This is a little weather station for monitoring air temperature, humidity, and pressure using a Bosch BMP280 sensor, which can be picked up on Adafruit or eBay for just a few dollars. In my case, I'm less interested in temperature, which you can see is being uh, monitored um, via that little uh, Bosch sensor right there and reported out to that little feather ADA logger. Um, I'm more interested in pressure since uh, that's needed to help normalize data collected by a pressure transducer uh, being used to monitor uh, groundwater levels in the upper Sienega Creek Basin here in Southern Arizona. And this is just a rough prototype really, um, just for testing my code, uh, uh, I have new parts on order uh, to build this box properly, uh, which will include a Feather MO ADA logger, which will write data to an SD card for import into Excel. Uh, I'm also going to add an RTC chip for including a timestamp on monitored data, uh, new voltaic systems, 10 watt solar panel. I'm going to be using uh, one of those new panels that don't have this, uh, uh, you know, clear resin, but they. I guess they're short on supply for this material to make these nice shiny panels. So I'm going to be testing the new ones that use uh, a different kind of resin to make them uh, UV and, uh, and weatherproof. Um, and I'm also, of course, going to include a fresh LiPo battery and a nicer enclosure to make things a little bit more field worthy. This setup is working pretty well right now. It logs environmental data in a comma delimited uh, format at any frequency I choose to that little SD card right there. A uh, new setup uh, like this can be constructed for less than $200 if you, uh, if you go with uh, reputable dealers such as Adafruit or SparkFun. But if you wanna scavenge parts from China, you could probably put this whole thing together for less than a hundred bucks, I'm guessing. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, share this little project update. I'm hoping to pivot back to uh, more of the Arduino stuff after uh, having completed my deep dive into uh, LoRa and Helium. Uh, so in a future video, I'll include a summary of all the parts, the code, and performance metrics as I've done for my prior projects. Thanks to the Desert Botanical Gardens for supporting this project. If you're interested in this build, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time.